The Maniac's back! To Florida. <laughs> the Maniac is never yes, here. The Maniac is back. But before we start that, yes. as we do every show, we want to thank our sponsors. Yes. We thank M2.TV, mm-hmm. Lesson uh, Health and Wealth Seminars. Mm-hmm. We want to thank Sky, mm-hmm. H2O, where the water never hits the ground. The famous whisperer of pain, Dr. Pinozo. Hey, wait a second. How come my picture isn't big? It's only a little picture of me. Because you're a little guy. Oh, okay. I'm little like, means little. I'm like the star here. I mean, I well, control the board. I mean, I should have a picture of me. That's a, I see you. I want to be a first a, a, a of big. all. First of all, Mr. Star, the <laughs> yes, only sir. star that you are is probably in the l- delusionary mind that you have. But anyway, let me introduce the man, the maniac, with the mic. That's me, by the way. Oh, I see my picture. Hi, everybody. It's Freaky Friday. Freaky you know, we ought to change the name of this show. We got three women here. It should be the Three Beauties and Wes and Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you introduce... The broads. The broads. No, you do that. You're better than that. Oh, I'm better than that? Yeah, you're, you're better. I'm better you know, than that. You know them. And we have All a beautiful right. Hispanic lady here. I don't want to mess up her name. We have, Aww. We have, Thank we you. Have Liz and Daisy. How can you mess up Daisy's name? Daisy said It's, it's very English. Daisy. Oh, that's right. I said you were my favorite flower. That's right. Wow. That's and right. I'm really happy that Les bought into my Freaky Friday, because I do have some freaky stories for Freaky Friday. Well, Freaky Friday. But before we get into all that, can I just tell you guys, you know, I've been really sick all week. No, oh. no, no. Yeah, really. <laughs> I got mean, a lot and of you wouldn't even let me that. come in. I got a lot of calls about that. They said, do I come in next week? Because no one wants me to get I sick. I know, I understand that. Yeah. But I went today and had the most amazing thing done. I went to a place called oh, Infusion. Oh, I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> the SEC is still watching what me. Amazing <laughs> thing that you have done. Okay, better than the S word for me right now is I had something called Infusio, which is oxygen therapy. It was fabuloso. I went to doctor, and I don't want to describe No, no, no. Name. Fabuloso is something you clean the house with. Uh, no, no, don't, don't give any names unless we're allowed to. Yes, we're about to call him, actually, because oh. I want to call him and thank him. His name is Dr. De Silvestro. He's a cardiologist in Boca, and he opened up Say a... Say that again, Dr. Warren. Oh, don't choice, do that to me. You, Say the who? You're fired. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Connecticut. So, well, that wasn't let me just tell you... That was in Connecticut. Oh, was that, that's less. That was he yours? has a Donald Trump doll. He has a Donald Trump over <laughs> there. He has a Donald Trump doll. <laughs> I love that. But let me just tell you very quickly about this, because honestly... You cannot was... say anything very quickly. Okay, hold well, on. So we're going to go on, there on, that before, early in the morning. Before, I haven't seen you in a week, before my love. We, before we set him up, before we do that, let's change gears here, because yes. I want to introduce our guest, being yes. that the okay, yes. is going to take up some time. Also, we got to fit in the news and weather Yes. Today. Yeah, traffic they, and they see, weather traffic update is sponsored by Dr. Penoso. 561-381-5800. Hey, <laughs> okay, let's, let's go around the table. First, we have the beautiful, oh. sexy, and hot Freddie. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Lisa. That's <laughs> yeah, Lisa, see if I do that. Lisa, <laughs> I got this right. Lisa Dwoskin, right? Yes. Okay, I then we have the beautiful and talented Daisy, my favorite flower. No, 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 Thank you. What's wrong with you? We did that already. You didn't introduce Lisa. Oh. You don't introduce them already. They've been introduced. Uh, uh, What's the with you? you? Yeah, All right, yeah, never yeah, mind. Yeah, Listen, Lisa okay. Dewaski's on the air. Not Dewaski. That's the why we introduced it. It's the Dewaskin. Lisa Dewaskin. He has an N at the end. And she, and she has a show on the air here yes. on the uh, on the on our BCT sister station. Network. And BZT Not, and ZZR. And ZZR. And, if, and it's and at you, 1 to 2 o'clock right. on Sundays. And Lisa, how are you doing? Very good. How are you guys? <laughs> and she looks amazing. How, what are you doing? That oh, body. She you. has one of those bodies that you want to, that you die for. Oh, oh you think? She, I've, been, yeah, I've been dying for that body since oh, I met <laughs> She's, you know, fed oh, from top to bottom. Thank you, thank you. So what do you do? That's thank why you, you're... Donald, thank you. <laughs> That's your expertise? I'm a fitness expert. Yes. Oh, okay. Coach, no wonder. Personal trainer. And people ask me all the time, do you work out like three hours a day? Exactly. And the truth is I work out six hours a week. But I eat healthy yeah. 90% of the time. Okay. And really, eating healthy is 80% of looking better. Well, that's very true. Lisa, that's why you'll understand what I went through today. Because I've had like a walking pneumonia or bronchitis, oh, wasn't oh. sure what. And so I went and had oxygen therapy, uh-huh. where I sat in this like spa-type atmosphere, and I got to pick the different flavor 
oxygen that went in my nose. Oh, it was wow. like rose or lavender or eucalyptic. Ooh, I did lavender. lavender. I sat I for 20 say, minutes. And when I walked out of there, I know it's a little gross, but you know, I like coughed everything up and oh. I could breathe out of my nose for the first time in oh, like three wow. months. Oh, that's great. It was, and, and I'm not BSing because oh. I have a sinus problem and mm. I haven't breathed out of my nose in years. Oh. But in the last few months, it's been really awfully bad. I am so impressed by this oxygen therapy. So. And the other, the other person that we forgot to mention is the board up who doesn't have her ears on yet. Put them on there, Connecticut. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? You know, if you don't say hi to the board up, she yeah. gets upset. Hi! I'm all right. You're all right? So you yes. finished playing with yourself over there? Connecticut, can we get him on Freddie, the phone? Freddie, I'm never tired of done playing with myself. I was just reading some uh, text. I just got a text that said, uh, Wes, uh, doing a very good show. Where's Freddie? You haven't been talking at Freddie's all Freddie's always here. Well, I, I've been listening. Oh, okay. Well, the conversation. So here's what, here's what, remember it's Freaky Friday? Yes. Here's what I want to say. Here's the things that bug me. I just want all the ladies, why do ladies... And I'm saying that because I'm always behind them. Go with 12 items through the 10 item line. Why? And then when they get there, <laughs> uh, it's. Did uh, we tw- talk about this on the first show? No. It's $29.95, and guess what they don't have? Wow. The credit card or the wallet out. Doesn't that bug you as a guy? No. Huh? No. Okay. Why Does is that, that bug gonna, you? Why is that going to bug Why is that Because bug me? I'll tell you what else bugs me. A lot of things bug you. I go to the gas station every morning, I have a cup of coffee with my friend Jose. He's behind the gas station. Yeah, I can see a problem already. Go ahead. I like Jose's, but I know a guy for 20 years. And when the lottery is only $10 million, Uh me and and him, we talk, we have a good time. When it gets to a billion, it's lines, I can't even get my coffee. Because everybody wants the big money. Yeah, everybody here with $10 million changed everyone's life here. $1 One yeah. million dollars would change my life. Okay, so why does anyone do the ten million dollar thing? Well, because, because it's if you're gambling. Win a billion, you, you you feel good about winning a billion. You wouldn't feel good about winning ten million, but you don't think you're gonna. If you hit for a million when a billion's on the table, it's like no big deal. Anybody can win a million. So if you took two dollars and you, and you, have you won a million yet? How many times have you won? How many times Never. do you play? Well, then you're a maniac. What are you talking about? I always go and play it, though. No, you don't. You go have coffee in the gas station. I hope so. He's, he's, he's a good friend of mine. We yeah, sit, we but, blow, you don't go to we play, a, huh? but you don't go to play. Oh, yeah, I always pay the $2 because I figure it's going to the school. Meanwhile, re, the schools are what? too small. What? Okay, the roads rewind. Are too bad. Rewind. rewind. It's going to the school? Is it? Is it going to the school? It's going to the school of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I thought that's what it does. I know, does. I know, I know what it's you mean. A, it was supposed to. It Isn't it supposed to go to the, the school board? Yes. And, and the roads. Elevated, yeah. And the elevated. roads. Education. Did mm-hmm. you ever drive the roads to Miami? This is the first time I went into Miami on I-95. Oh, my God. It, the, the roads looked they, like they were terrible. They were broken. And I'm saying, where does the money go to? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Don't go to the roads either. No. Okay. okay. the politician's pocket. I want to ask... But listen, let's get back to the line... I went in there one time, the short line says 12 items a lot. No, 10. 10, whatever. 10, 10. 12, 10, 10 whatever. <laughs> and I must have had 20. And the lady behind me, she threw a conniption. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she threw she a what? She had one bottle. Threw a conniption. So, yeah, that's the lady. She I like that word. Nice Jewish word, isn't it? That's a conniption. Holy God. I almost said that, that word. <laughs> I stopped myself. So, listen, listen. So, she goes, well, you know, yeah. And she had like two items. So, I looked at her and so said. So, you want to go for uh, No, I didn't. I paid for them. I said. Charge her. Give me. Put those two things on my. I'm gonna pay for them. Is this I show making that much money now? No, this this oh. happened to me. Oh, okay. This happened to me a long time ago. And she says, "You don't need to do that." I says, "No, you need some love, honey. You, I need to really? do this." Really? And do you know? She took my name and number. We're still friends today. Uh, do you? Uh, Aww, is she, uh, that's a nice that's story. That's a love story. Is she, it's a love she, story she, right there. Okay, was she <laughs> good looking? Hey. No, she was. Here's another thing. Listen, first of all, she's listening. She right. was a. Okay. She's a beautiful I want to thank you for listening. Here's what I want to say to you. Always maintain your momentum. Okay, so now here's. Are you going to play with your doll the I'm, whole show? I sleep with this. You sleep with that doll? Yeah. I got. Oh my goodness! I, I was telling Lisa, male doll. I was telling Lisa years ago. I was. I had a magazine. And it was it was called Money Magazine, and we went down to interview Donald Trump. And let me tell you something: you have never, ever, ever met a nicer person in your life. Oh wow! Or just a nice. I mean, not did it, you know? What so happened? So he's personable for real. What happened? He's, yeah, he's very well, personable. Let me tell you what happened. I'll tell you a story about Donald Trump that a lot of people don't know. He was driving his car mm-hmm. out of state. Okay. He got a flat tire. He had no idea what to do. Of course. Guy yeah, pulls I read up. This on Facebook. Yeah. Guy pulls up and says, All "Can right. I help you?" 
The guy didn't even know who he was. He, he said, yeah, thank you. And he jacked up the guy. And he, and he said to him, he said, um, where do you live? He told him where he lived. He said, uh, you owe money on your house? He said, yeah, I owe it. He wrote him a check. No, I don't believe yeah, that. paid off his mortgage. I'd love to have a flat tire on the side of the road when Donald Trump drives by. Because Donald <laughs> Trump really is... Does he drive right now? I don't think, I think he ever... It, I, I think he I stopped like driving a long time ago. I like a flat tire. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, aggressive. It's Friday, Freddie. Perfect one, actually, right there. We have, we have a lot of stuff that's going All right, so you, you run the show instead right, exactly. of me. Go ahead. So, do we Go. have any calls here? No. What is it? Why is your doll talking? Oh, I forgot to shut it off. Shut it off. Okay. You know what I want to do? I want to do the. I want to do the weather. Okay. The, oh my the goodness. Dr. Pinozo sponsored by Bit. Yes. Let's get that out of the way. Can mm-hmm. we do that? Yeah. So Let's make that? it happen. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Okay, this is uh, your traffic and weather update sponsored by Dr. Penoso. 561-381-5800 is another very windy day here in South Florida, and these gusty winds out of the northeast will continue through the afternoon. A few fast-moving coastal showers are possible. High temperatures will reach the low to mid-70s under partly sunny skies. Tonight, partly cloudy with a few coastal showers, low in the 50s along the Treasure Coast and upper 50s and low 60s along the Palm Beach County Coast. Now we're going to take a look at the traffic. What's going on in the traffic? We have a situation on I-95 going south, Linton Boulevard, (laughs) Derry Beach, and another accident on I-95 going north, Palm Beach Lakes, and in Broward we have an accident on I-75 in 595. This is your traffic and weather update, sponsored by Dr. Penoso, 561-381-5800. I could listen to her give the traffic all day long. <laughs> and, you, and, and, you, and you can sponsor that segment yes. five days a week or once a day or whatever you want by yes. calling. What's the call-in number? The call-in number today is 800-889-0267. And for you people that are want to see our show, it's Freddie. How they say our show live? M2.TV is the stream. Okay. And they could always get it on? M2.TV. Even afterwards? M2.TV. M2.TV. YouTube. They could always find us on YouTube. Yes, I think that's what he was going M2. for. M2.TV production. That's what I was... Do you have this much problems on your show? No. You know why? <laughs> because... Too many cooks in the kitchen here today. Because Rocky is, Rocky is cool. That, let me tell you. We said... That guy is well worth listening to. He with the experiences that that man. I was in the whole show. About Rocky? No, yeah. So, uh, so you had. Who are you gonna have this Sunday? This can Sunday? I have my, the yeah, mic? Sure. Yeah, please. <laughs> well, before I tell you about this Sunday, Rocky. When I spend the afternoon with him, because we spent about four hours together. The stories he talks about with Mike Tyson, George Foreman, uh, Muhammad Ali, and actually we're going to start a show, which is going to be yep. the wrestling hour, where he's going to bring all these people in, and that's going to be so And what do I tell oh, Dr. Pinozo, because he wants to get involved oh, in that. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, when I'm he saw gonna... Rocky, his, eye, his eyes lit up. Oh, yeah. He's and so excited. How can people find you tomorrow? Um, Sunday. Sunday. I'm going to be on at oh, 1 Sunday. o'clock. Right. On... Twelve thirty AM ninety four point three FM. Right. WBZT right up there. Yeah. So and you can call in at what's the number? Eight hundred eight eight nine O two six you sit at this chair when yeah, you're doing yeah. the show? Okay. Oh, let me tell you, before we get your call. That chair is very different from every chair in That's this room. That's the best chair in the house. But it, it's for me Absolutely. that it was my first time, and I had seven people in this room staring at me. I was a little, uh, like a little bit nervous you the know, first two minutes. She says she minutes. has seven people staring at her. She has a hundred people staring at her when she goes to get an ice cream. And <laughs> Wait, it's easier for me to get on my bikini and teach exercise than it was to sit there in you that go. chair. Yes, it is. Okay, really? so if oh, anyone, okay. Okay. If anyone she said it. it. She said it. She said it. Tune in. If anyone exactly. wants to make a reservation to uh, work out with Lisa, uh, you can call her at. Um, well, actually, go on my website. Go on the website. I have that, web- I have that website near my bed. Oh, you're crazy. No, I'm, well, I'm a maniac. What do you want? dot com. I teach him exercise. He dreams about exercising. I always exercise. You got him on the right track. That's why I'm in his dreams and by his bed. Because he's a workout a holiday. I am, six days a week. <laughs> and I'm very proud of you because you look Thank great. you, thank you. We yeah. have a call. We have a doctor. Let's see if I get okay, this right, doctor. Hold on, you want to set this up? Bye. So, the good doctor who really cured me this morning is on the line. That's Dr. D. Silvestro, and I'm really excited for him to be on the phone with us. 
Put him on. Let's Hi, Doc. How you doing? Not so good, huh? Oh, no. Oh, we waited too long. He's a busy cardiologist. Let's okay. see if we can get him back on the line, Connecticut. So we so. don't have any We don't have any dead yet. So tell us about uh, okay. your experience. So I told you about my experience. I was 20 minutes sitting in there, and mm -hmm. um, I got to choose from my flavors, and I got to pick the one I like best, which was lavender. And 20 That's minutes my later, favorite. Wow. I love it. I was, I every night so before much. I go to sleep, I put lavender on my sheets. It's Me too. It's great for you. And my wife starts coughing. <laughs> really? But I sleep. Who cares? Oh, 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 oh we, got the good, we got the good doctor run. Oh, Let's get great, great. Here we go. Hi, Doc. You're on the air. He's not on the air? No. Are we having technical difficulties right now? So bear with us. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you a quick, quick Freaky Friday story based on what we were talking about, which is a completely different direction. But I wanted to read some stories about Freaky Friday. That's why I mentioned it yesterday. And there's actually a site called thefreaky.net. And they give you really weird, bizarre, freaky news stories. This particular Remember, one... the book starts uh, here. Okay. So this one is called A South Korean Woman Became Pregnant when 12 baby squid after eating okay, calamari. Okay, back to the squid. Listen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Doctor's on the phone? Get rid of that. Oh, wait a minute. Doctor's on the phone. Doctor. We'll talk about the... It's I hope squid. you're on this time. Doc, are you on the air? I am on the air. I didn't yes. know... Yes, you are. Hey, for the doctor. Welcome. Go, Doc. <laughs> All right. Let's set this up. What do you want to talk about? Well, I'm glad to be on the air. Thank you. Glad I'm, to have you. I'm happy to have treated um, your colleague this morning. She is breathing much better now. Mm. She sat oh, in my is. oxygen bar this morning and hey. had an incredible treatment. Thank hey, you. Doc, hey, Doc, can you turn that air down on her to, so she's unconscious <laughs> yes. a little bit? Yes. Uh, we're going to talk right now. Thanks, boys. Uh, uh, doctor, I, I, turned the air, I turned the air up because I knew she had to have a great show. Oh, my uh, gosh. Tell, so tell me a little about what you do. So I'm a cardiologist here. practicing here in Boca Raton, mm -hmm. okay. and I recently opened a IV hydration and wellness med spa wow. called Infusio. Infusio. And we offer oxygen therapy. I have an oxygen bar, inhaled oxygen, all That's aromatic. So cool. And also my main focus on my med spa is IV hydration, IV fluids, minerals, electrolytes, and vitamin cocktails. Wow, wow, wow. How Treating does that hangovers, work? dehydration from any cause, whether it be an acute stomach bug, uh, viral illness, cold, flu, uh, and also offering high doses of vitamin therapies intravenously to boost the immune system and, that, and prevent disease. Let me ask you uh, a question. Someone that takes a lot of medication uh, for different things like heart or uh, blood pressure, uh, does this have any uh, side effects with what you're giving them intravenously? Should not, but right. each of my clients are screened appropriately. Mm -hmm. Uh, through my technicians, all certified paramedics. Oh, wow. And they review each uh, background medical history. The vitamins we're infusing are all water-soluble vitamins, uh, but again, they're given by the intravenous route, so the absorption, the bioavailability is 100%. Whatever the body doesn't need, it excretes. Wow. Are you seeing improvement with people with um, Alzheimer's to help them uh, maybe slow down the process by pumping the oxygen through the body like that? There may be some benefit. Uh, you know, I can't, you know, speak upon that. You know, obviously there's no long-term trials looking at, you know, oxygen therapy for that. But it helps with mental clarity, inhaled oxygen. How often would you say that you should do something like this? Because I had that immediate boost, and then it obviously dissipates a little bit. I'm still feeling better. But if I wanted to do this, let's say, regularly, what do you recommend for people to come in just to do to feel all around good? You could have it as frequently as daily. They generally don't recommend higher concentrations of oxygen for more than 20 to 30 minutes daily. But if you wanted to have it every day, once a week, once a month, depending on what your need is, you know, in particular, if you develop, you know, an acute illness, a sinus infection, upper respiratory infection, you know, there may be more of a, an acute need to do it a little bit more frequently. Uh, when that resolves, you may want to do it less frequently, once a week, once a month. Well, it did kind of remind me when I, when I used to get sick you know, years ago, I would always go to the gym and go into a steam room yes. and use yeah. the eucalyptic. But that's kind of dirty. It's not the same feeling. And this was much more immediate. Well, if you were a bathing suit in the steam room, you wouldn't have <laughs> to worry about it being back dirty. Into that. But one of the we're, things we're that we clothed, have here. We're fully clothed in my med spa. Nobody can wear a bathing suit here. Is there, an, I like, I is there like an age group? Is there an age limit? Consent, consenting age. 18 years old to, you know, is. 
as high as, you know, 60 or 70 years old. Okay. So I can go. We have Lisa here, Doc, and she's a health expert. And I think that maybe I'd like to pass the mic to her and see if she has any questions that maybe I wouldn't uh, uh, think of right now. No, I I was actually just listening. I'm very interested. It sounds Mm -hmm. great because I've never tried it. But you treat, Lisa treats a lot of celebrities and she has a lot of relationships with clients one-on-one. So for somebody like Lisa, who's talking to her clients about this doc, what would you, first of all, give out your telephone number quickly and then what would you uh, recommend for her business to help um, help her with her clients? Yeah, so my med spa is called Infusio Med Spa. Okay. Number is 561-756-9251. I also have a website. All my information is spelled out very clearly on my website, Infusio, I-N-F-U-Z-I-O dot com. I give a lot of information based upon the treatments that I administer. Plus, there's a lot of nice, pretty pictures to draw you in and uh, appreciate the treatment that I'm offering. Essentially, the treatments that I'm giving is basically the supportive care that we give in the hospital, in the ER. Oftentimes, people come into the ER not feeling well, and immediately what happens? You get an IV, they hang a bag of fluids, and they put oxygen in your nose. I'm providing the same type of treatment through my oversight, so it's very safe, effective, the same level of what we receive within the emergency room and you're going to receive the immediate benefits of that and what's a nice little bonus is he's got a nice little spa type set up and right next door his wife opened this fabulous little cafe with the best chocolate chip cookies just to go against health that i've ever eaten (laughs) we should won't let me have chocolate chip cookies (laughs) really healthy food choices as well and i think you have yogurts and shakes like that too right yes so it's a great little place to go. And the doctor is going to come visit us on our show on Friday, right, Doc? I, I, I would love to. That would be fantastic. Are those, are those units uh, that you can move them around? So, so if somebody needed you to go to their office or their home, do you do that or do you have to go into the place? The oxygen? Yeah. Oxygen, you have to come to the, the, the med spa. It's a larger unit. I have an oxygen compressor, which, you know, I could bring to an event and treat people, but to bring out to a home you know, wouldn't be ideal. Well, did you ever do hyperbaric, uh, uh, you ever do hyperbaric oxygen therapy? I don't do hyperbaric at this point. I don't know if my building will allow me to build <laughs> hyperbaric I know. oxygen I, chambers. I, I used we'll, to work we'll, with hyperbaric. We'll, we'll, we'll build it for you, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> Get your hammer. But my, <laughs> but my the phrase got some boys mobile. from uh, I have technicians from going out okay, go. infusing clients uh, with the IV fluids and vitamins depending on the need. Bring well, some for Freddie because I want him to grow his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Bring some for less so we can grow a brain. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Oh, you can never but, grow a brain. Understand, you can grow hair, but not a brain. Oh, it's like I'd the love to have man. all of you in for an infusion so you can oh, experience. Oh, oh, right. I'm down with that. I'll go. I'm coming. I'm I think coming. before we have you on the show on Friday, maybe we'll come in on Thursday if we can make it happen. I play golf on or, Thursday. Or we'll yeah, come definitely. in Friday before the show. If we can make it happen. I Otherwise, what show. I would like to do is If you want to do it Friday morning, we could definitely make that happen. So we'll talk about uh, it. But how long does this segment 20 minutes. take? 20? Yeah, unless you're coming. You're going to be yeah. there. Absolutely. We'll do it. Come we on, I'll do it. I go to the gym first, buddy. Sorry. So Listen, come and suck down some oxygen. You, got, you guys could go. I'll give you a barbell. You get to no, sleep. You guys could go and You will know. love it, Les. You will love this it. This is I'm fabulous recovery you. from your workout. You will love it. I'm going. What time are you open? I want to go. We should be there at 10 o'clock. And yes. then we can come straight to the show. You could do more than one person at a time. Oh, wait a minute. You could yes. do one, more than one patient at a time? You can't do one. <laughs> Freddy. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, give out your number one, to, one more time, and uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, if people know who you are, what you do, give the address out, and give the phone number out, give your uh, what your website out. Okay. Stop Wonderful. Uh, my, office, uh, my phone number is 561-756-9251. We're located in the Fountain Square Office Park. 2650 North Military Trail, Suite 140, Boca Raton, Florida. And my website is www.infusio, I-N-F-U-Z-I-O.com. Again, go to my website. You'll be able to better understand the treatments that we are offering here. And it's all about relaxation. I've created an experience Mm. of these treatments more than anything else. I have a question. I, there's, I'm checking your website right now. Very oh, nice. Great. And Thank you. 11 a.m. you open from Monday through Friday, and on yes. Saturdays you are open at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., correct? Yes, yes. Okay, and then after you can make appointments on the site if you cannot make it. That's different of course. prices, or is the same thing? Yes, all my prices are online as well of all the different treatments. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friday, of course, I will have my technician in early okay. to 
provide all of you with an incredible experience that I hope you can rave about. I have a question for you. I do a yes. lot of meditation healing seminars with clients, I just fell asleep. 50 to 100 people at a time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, I would love to have you come well, and that's do what that. I was going to suggest a but seminar. But the only thing is with the OSHA regulations, if you're using needles, will they No allow needles. That? It's, uh, oh, through it's the oxygen nose. therapy. He, he was talking about inter... Two I separate use. things. Yes. So oh, what okay. I was why, oh, perfect. why I, I wanted to know that. if you take the the oxygen on the road, and I'm very appreciative that Freddie asked that question, is because what I wanted to talk to you about, Doc, is creating some seminars for you where we can give people yes. an experience at one shot and how how we would try to arrange that. But we can talk about that on the show next week and see what you think about that. As I said, I could definitely them. do that for a large number of clients. Yeah. That wouldn't be a problem. But I told your colleague that I wouldn't be able to take it to somebody's house. It would just be too labor intensive. But for an event, I could definitely take my oxygen out of the office. Okay, it's Doc. It's very simple to put in my car. Before you hang up the phone, I just have to ask you a question because we usually do this in person, but you're on the line and we want to bring it back to the two boys from Brooklyn and some broads. How do you eat your hot dogs? I eat my hot dogs Chicago style. Oh, what's that mean? I'll tell you what that means. It's green relish, mustard, a pepper... Uh, wait, wait, I got and a tomato Whoa. with celery salt. Celery salt, you got it. Oh. Wait, wow. wait, 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 tomato yes. counts as ketchup, so with, we both with, with, with ketchup uh, on my hot dog. With a seeded bun, right? Yes. You're my man. I like I this doctor Jesus. ready. I love right. jeans and Jews in Chicago. Oh, Jews, I love them. <laughs> Best Chicago style hot dog. You got it. We got a guy here that puts ketchup on it. You ready for this? Doc? Hey, hey, hey. Mayonnaise hey, hey. on a corned beef sandwich. Hey, oh. listen. Hamel, That's sacrilegious. Uh, Dana Hamel also. I like this Dana doctor Hamel right now. also this. Who? Dana Hamel. You, you weren't here yesterday. She does ketchup as so well. She's doing and I do ketchup. Uh, I do ketchup. And yeah. people do ketchup. So you know what? Hey, Doc, I don't know if you want to stay on for this quick story that I was trying to tell right before you call, but on our Freaky Friday, which is what today is, so you'll have to come in with a freaky story next time. No, we got to let the doctor go. Hold on a second. We got to take a hard break. Yes. Doc, thank you so much. Doc, thank you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you next week. All right, you too, Doc. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. Please welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming, as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563. And let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. 
Could one conversation change your life? When was the last time you talked and worked with someone, the right someone, the right health practitioner about your health and wellness? When was the last time or maybe the first time you received the personal attention and the individual program you deserved? Because no one program works for everyone. And the only program that will work is the one that is truly yours. Coaching for Health is a hands-on, customized health and wellness program that truly will change your life. Susie Bricker, a certified health coach, will be your personal advocate for living an energized and healthy life. She works with her clients to help them create and maintain a way of life that's healthy, flexible, fun, free of denial, and last but not least, gets results. By working together, bio-individual programs and lifestyle changes are made that are sustainable and that best support and target the individual needs and goals of each client. For more detailed information, please go to Coaching for Health's website at coachingforhealth.net or email coachingforhealth at susan.brickercoachingforhealth at outlook.com. Get the results you're looking for now and for the future and give yourself the gift of great health and wellness that you so richly deserve. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on their show. Share your good news. Just call 888-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 888-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. We be back. Uh, let me tell you about somebody that's changed everyone's life and is going to change even more people's life. It's Dr. Anthony Pinozo, who I call the pain whisperer. The man that could cure you from migraines all the way down to turf toe, which I know what turf toe is. There's an athlete I work out with, and there is absolutely nothing. He could cure yeah, but, migraines. But the yeah. stuff between your toes is not turf toe. <laughs> no, what is that? That's Let me dirt. tell you something. I have the queen. That's lunch. I'm going to tell you, I get a pedicure. Hold on, Dr. Pinozo. I get a pedicure. Twice a month, I get my feet massaged twice a month, oh. and they and they, they, they get the corn out. Uh, my I get I, I, I probably have better feet than any woman here. I bet you hey. don't. I bet you you don't. I feel wanna offended. Bet? How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? <laughs> if I win, you have to eat a hot dog with mayo and ketchup. Oh God, I'd rather die. Okay, so back to Dr. Pinozo. Five six one three eight one fifty eight hundred. Here's a man that will cure you. Guaranteed, if you walk in with a migraine, Time you will walk cure out. what? Yes. Let's Let me finish. Be specific. Donald? I should fire myself just for having you around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, make sure that that doll doesn't do the wrong thing. Because you, so, if you're going to be walking around with this doll, oh, i yeah. got to explain myself oh, to yes. people. I, walk, I didn't read my tape. So getting back to something serious. Dr. Pinozo can guarantee he can cure your migraine. Yes. He can guarantee to, to cure vertigo. He can guarantee to cure whatever ails you and whatever hurts you. He guarantees you walk in, you limp in, you walk out totally 100% better. Freddie has seen him. Freddie's son has seen him. I've seen him. And... Oh, and I know. And I cannot wait to have him cure my migraines next week. I will go see him. Yes, you Me better. Too. I'm going to see him. Uh, every, I mean, everyone. I mean, my. Uh, right. I'm going. Out. I'm not. I'm definitely going. There's nothing wrong, right? Maybe she has nothing wrong. She's just going to go hang out. I have you. a shoulder situation. Remember that I told you? I go to the I'm gym. I'm going to bring you in. who will take care of you now. Yes. Tell me, you had something that you wanted to say after break. Uh, oh, Dr. Pinoza's oh, oh, number is 561 381 5800. What is it, Freddie? Yeah, 561 381 5800. Okay, let's go to social media. You no, can no. press Hold on. Go ahead. likes to Boys from Brooklyn and the Broads. We need likes and we want to see what's going on out there. We want your feedback, your comments, and of course, we want you to be part of this team that we're having so much fun every day at noon. And now we're going to go to the let's trendy. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Call? We have a phone call. Phone call. Okay. Uh, Wesley. Hi. Hi. Hi, Leslie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What did you want to call and talk about today? Um, oxygen therapy for cancer patients. Oh, you just missed the doctor. But you know what? He's going to be on next Friday, and I definitely want you to call back on Friday. But I will ask him that question. I just know that I had a terrible bronchial problem the last couple of days, and I did 20 minutes of uh, oxygen therapy, and I can breathe freely, and I, I hear that it just helps oxygenate the body, and it's supposed to just help cleanse your system and, and can be good for everybody. Have you heard about it with cancer patients? Uh, I've just heard a little bit here and there. I haven't done any research on it. 
Where are you calling from, by the way? From Delray. Delray Beach. Say hello to Delray Beach. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for calling, Leslie. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All right, you know what? I was going to, if you leave this room, I'm going to put the camera on that empty uh, chair and show everybody how you leave in the room. I just want to go to the bathroom. You don't go, now you go during the break. That's why we play the break. It takes me 20 minutes to get down to the bathroom. It's only one bathroom. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to talk about the bathroom? I heart media. I would like you to have more than one, two bathrooms in the building for the men. They got five bathrooms? Where? Get on. What? They're everywhere. We have five of them. No way. (gasps) Yes. Yeah, he wow. can't. He can't find his way out of a room. Hey, yeah. listen. What are you back. eating? I what are you washed. eating? Connecticut, there? Connecticut is eating something. What's she eating? A cookie. What kind? A cookie. She's a, hiding behind the glass. You cannot eat cookies. cookies here without bringing him into the staff. Yeah. But like, you want to ask him something? Yes, yeah. go ahead. Hey, I want to hear how did the Valentine's dinner go with oh. your wife? Oh, you missed the show. How was? Oh. oh, that's right. Well, I, I started. I started his, out. He wore his one underwear week. I, no, no, no. I wore. I wore my underwear that has hearts on. I remember. Heart on. I remember. Uh, no hearts on my it. underwear. <laughs> Can't get in trouble. Uh, I it thought was good. this is supposed we, to be a clean. We, we had stone crabs, my wife and I, yeah, and we had. The underwear was clean. We should ask me a question. <laughs> yeah, everything went well. Was everything she went. Every, was clean, yeah, right? Everything went. Well. She was very, very happy. She's, oh, honey, this is great. Uh, uh, sex wasn't bad. Oh, wasn't that? Okay. What do you mean? TMI, TMI. Why well, thought of you? Chasing oh, <laughs> me because I really wear underwear. Uh, you think of her? <laughs> Listen, uh, your honey, There's nothing wrong with your, that. Your wife is on the hotline. Buddy. Margo? Yeah. That was a tough one. <laughs> Chicks dig me because I rarely wear underwear. <laughs> Who is that talking? It's Donald Trump. It's, it's hey, listen, talking about, talking about Donald what? Trump today. Uh, do we have another bit left? No, we're talking we, about okay. Donald Trump today. What's going on with well, him I and to the, do the trending? Uh, a quick trending. We'll do that in a second. But Donald Trump today decided to take on, on the, the Pope. Pope. Yeah, I yeah. Did. But I just read that the Pope did not mean anything personal by it. Of course not. But whenever you say I Pope, happen to like Pope Francis, by the way. I he, really like he him. I think he's cool. Anybody who builds a wall, Your holiness. A wall can't be a Christian. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, come on. Dividing instead of bridges, he said. Yes. He said walls instead of bridges. So, yes. But the Pope also got into a tutti-caca down in Mexico. What does that mean? Somebody he hit got into him. an argument with somebody. Yeah. You saw that? Yes. A tutti-caca? Don't be selfish. Don't be. He said <laughs> no. So, so the Pope. To you the made pope a cocky? A tutti-caca? I've What's never that? heard that expression, a tutti-caca. That's right. So it's an expression that only Latinos know. Well, it's a Latino you know, it's expression a to the tutti-caca. It's a, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. If Daisy well, said okay. it's okay, but then it's okay. Are we going to get bleep for saying that on the air? No, 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 no. No, it's not that bad. bad. It's not that bad. But the Pope decided to go Rocky Balboa on that guy down I know. Hey, Adrian, how you doing? What's going on with the Pope? He got a little bit of, you I know. we should bring him on here. He can fight less. The Pope smokes dope? What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, <laughs> the Pope of oh, less. Oh, you're going too deep. That's <laughs> from a Jew. That's the reason. You have to That's not right. talk like that. It makes us look yeah. like The Buddha Jew. He's very respectable. <laughs> what is it? The Buddha Jew? What are we the Buddha Jew. Jew. The Jew boo. I the call Jew-boo. him a Jew boo. Yeah, some oh, Buddha Jew. Because I'm a Jew boo. Where do you practice? When you do Buddhism, where do you do it in? I mean, when you what do, do your I do mantras, it in, in my you, underwear. You, you, no, where do you do your mantra? <laughs> I do it in my underwear. The mantra? You can do it anywhere, no? I do mine in the bathroom. Should I tell you why? Oh. Why? Yeah, okay. Because you're sitting down. Of course, where I live, my bathroom is um, filled with a... <laughs> this is like an entire show about Les's bathroom antics today. Oh. With a glass. I look out at the water, uh, and I shut all the lights, oh. and I just... So, the water. Do you know, Les, according like to Jewish... Sound according to Jewish tradition, I think a Jewish faith... You are the one place you're never supposed to pray is in the bathroom on the toilet. That's, that's right. the one place that's you right. never pray. Uh, who cares? You're, you're, I, I, I you're, know what else they so do. So you're not a good that's Jew. That's the only boo. place well, that, they're not going to bother you. Nobody's going to bother you in the bathroom. Do you know? Do you know why Moses opened the Red Sea? If you're such a good Jew, to let why you wrote, why, why do you open the Red Sea? <laughs> to, to let you in. I'm not even Jew. No, to let us pass through. No, he went because Jews can't swim. <laughs> oh, there's and that God joke. Said, Let them swim. He said that the last time, and I said I never heard Jews can't they swim can't. before. Do you swim? Yes. You're not a Jew. You swim? <laughs> oh yeah, I was on swimming team. You swim in sweat. So then you're you debunking your own theory. You're saying Jews can't swim, but you got two Jews in the room who can swim. I don't know if you can swim. I don't know if you can swim. I was on swimming team. I can prove it. 
<laughs> then your Jew can swim. I know, I know, I know one thing. I know you. Can, I know you can sink. I seen you go right to the bottom. Well, as if I have lunch. Are you buying lunch? I sink. Listen, you know, I go. I live by a lake. I go to the pool, look at the lake, and I and you, I do I my my Buddha do Buddha. Anything exercise. I don't think you do a stitch of exercise. Of course I do. You I have to exercise most, my brain to come here five days a week with you. You got the most beautiful gym where you live. I mean, this is a gym. I, you ever see this gym? Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. It's they an work. Olympic sized gym. Do you want to come and rent? Do you want to come and work out at the gym? Yeah, I'd love to work out at your gym. But he has beautiful day. Lisa by his side. Now that I found Lisa, this out, come I'm going to come train you Yo, every day you at your gym. Listen, I go there to watch people train. And I said, man, I wish I could do that. Lisa, you promised me a session. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna take you up on that. I'm going to gym and work out. Everybody, well, that's that's good. Good. Listen, I promised all love. these guys a session. <laughs> I want a session too, but I'm not working out. Listen, <laughs> you see, this is what I mean. So you can't take them anywhere. You come down to Bokeh Country Club. Ladies are welcome, but make sure you have the right one. Let's get your That's wife on the phone. Let's see the what she thinks about it. Whoever's listening. Look, 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 look. He's going to shy away. You ever seen a Jew shy Margo? away? Margo, are you there? I am. I only. Margo, say, call in 1 800 889 0267. We want to hear from you. No, honey, that's not the right number, sweetheart. What I do is we'll talk about it when I get home. <laughs> hey, to say something about what you were saying about where do you practice Buddhism or where do you practice whatever spirituality you believe in? a nice, quiet place. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, what I do thought. Anywhere. That's right. anywhere. She's right. Because it's within you. So Correct. You Absolutely. Anywhere. I do it in the laundry room. Yeah, yeah. doesn't matter. I, I do it at the, the beach. You I do it where in the laundry room? <laughs> no, no. You, you, know, want to, you want to do, do my laundry? I do it in the laundry room, no, too, but not I mean, It's when you are, like, in a yeah. quiet... Yeah, when you're comfortable, when you're ready to relax. Guys, relax. we're all talking yeah. over each other, so we want our listeners to hear us. That's because we're all confused. What? <laughs> you missed my joke. I you missed a joke. I said I do it in the laundry room, but not my spirituality practice. Oh. Something uh, else. Something okay, I so wait, out. wait, I work wait. Out in the you know, that, said, here's my new dream. She sends out I her love to letters. Get you on the washing machine. That brings me back to what what is trending in the I news like the right now. Oh, listen, listen. One one of the hold stories. On, hold on. No, no more laughter. Really, one we of the stories. Which is trending in the news yeah. this week, which was my topic. Okay, today, come on, come is. On. Where are the p- best top ten places you do it? That was trending stories. So number three on the list, the which was room. the washing machine. The washing no, machine. no. Yeah, Take a couple of guesses. The, <laughs> the washing machine is what I was thinking. The, the car. Yeah. Three, the car. No, they, that was they, like Daisy, number eight. Daisy, calm down. Daisy, Everybody, take, take a I guess. The kitchen <laughs> counter. Freddy, the Your parents' bedroom. <laughs> That's I, a horse, Les. That's not a washing machine. You gotta fix that machine. Parents' bedroom was number ten. Number three. You said number three. Number three. Don't look it up. What Don't cheat. It? What is it? I'm not looking. I'm the car. The car. Come on, already. Come on, we on the minutes. dance floor in a nightclub. No what? way. Oh. Yeah, right. I would. I swear it was wow. trending yeah, on the list. all these people in here. Anybody ever do it on the what dance floor? What is the age range? Nope. Can no, no. You? No. 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 What no is the age range for that? In an airplane? Yes. No, uh, my, my high club. Were you, are you, I heard did, about were that. You in my I'm a member of that. Oh, oh God, not, why did she do this to me? And Lisa, you'll love this one. At the gym. Oh, At the, that was like that number four too. on the list. What's going on with I'm the gym? Tell you, around this I'm going to tell you the number one I place. I never did it in the airplane. What's I'm going afraid on? of flight. I'm going to tell you the number one place that I know it happens all over the place. But, uh-huh. At the hospitals. Real? Oh, that was not Doctors on the list. Hold it. Doctors I worked in Cabrini Hospital for two years. Trust that senior me. facility down in Orlando. Well, the oh, it's, it's doctors who the go doctors into the rec- there was, rest area. There was the more patients. disease and uh, yeah. a lot of venereal stuff, disease lots. over at, at the villages because all those old people. Less, yeah. less. Take it easy. I First of all, we're not talking. Don't name I'm places. There. Don't name places. It's I'm over there. there. I think it's all those Jesus. hours people working so hard at the hospitals. You know, the doctors and the nurses. They're Working they really need hard. To relieve some stress. Trying to relieve. Oh, Aren't you a nurse once? <laughs> no. Yeah, look at, look at no, the no. sympathizer. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that they work really hard. Right. All right. So we got Listen to me. Everybody Listen to me. Don't put that there. <laughs> so there was one strange. other story that was trending, which is why is everyone so mad at the Fine Brothers? Have you heard about this? Who are the Fine Brothers? I've never heard of them. You don't know the Fine Brothers? No. They're a production company. Uh-huh. Benny and Rafi Fine. They produce movies. You got to talk into the mic. Oh, sorry, guys. They produce movies. But the reason that they're trending right now is they're going to be making a series of videos called React. 
and they want us to be kind of like you American can't Idol. Read. You gotta tell this I them. have to read because I wanted to give you no, some we information don't have about that. No, we don't have okay, time to so read. the reason it's trending is because they actually trademarked and patented the word react. Now, do you oh, think you can trademark mark and patent a word like react? I heard react? about that. Is that the same thing as the hey, react? I'm going to break thing? a patent. You ready? Yes. Yes. Exactly. React. Yeah. React. 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 We're breaking the patent. React. 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 Exactly. React to what? Like, how can you actually get away with, exactly. with trademarking and patenting the use of the word react in videos or any other way? Because that word, you know, they actually were able to do that. And so that's what's trending about it. We're being selfied right now. <laughs> this could have been the most boring. I just lost two minutes okay, of my so, life. So, so, so far, the trending ain't trending too well. That's the two minutes well, of my life I'm never going to get back. The top ten sex things wasn't trending? That was good. I like Yeah, that, that I like. Yeah, I'm sure you do, that. Lisa, and your washing machine will never be the same. Wait a second. Let's and, start. And let's start you didn't want to hear the squid story. Well, that was no, trending, too. Enough of the squid. So, I that one. That was kind of yucky. Daisy, have you noticed all 10 things to have sex on? Lisa's done it in all 10. She's done it on the washing machine. but let me just say something. This is really statistically. That's why she looks so hot. When you work out and you are have the endorphin rush yes. going and you're fit and you're healthy, sex is a very healthy thing. Yes, it is. And I'm not saying go sleep with everyone out there. Why not? Of course, but I, I'm a good girl. But when I have one person, we do it everywhere because it's fun. It's exciting. Lisa, and I'm very Lisa. Lisa, and this is, this is, so that's great. That's my tip for this. Is, day. This is a family show. Take it easy. I got news show. I'm getting family. texts all over the place. You do it. They want to meet you wherever you're at. You and I are going on our show next uh, Sunday. Why not? Well, I get to produce it. Okay. Oh, I just want to say you guys are out of control. Yes, we are. It's, it's Freaky Friday. Friday. Exactly. And you're a good leader. I don't. It's Freaky Friday. We don't have anything scripted. Okay, just anything calm down. And, and anything you want to bring to the set, yes. you, can't, you just can't read it. No, you don't you read it, we're good to go. If you because read it, it, we don't talk There's a lot of interpretation. She just read the traffic and read the weather. Well, you don't think people the read? Well, what is she going to do? Up. She's going to run outside and look at the traffic? And you don't think people read what's trending in the news? I'm supposed to memorize what's I'll trending give you, in the I'm going to give you a trendy. trendy. I'm oh, going to no. give you a no, trendy. You just go no, you're making it up. No, what's no, trending in the news? And Daisy, you'll back me up on this. I'm going to give you a trendy. What's the name of the guy who's asking for help for his bills? He owes 53 Kanye West. Kanye, Kanye West. West. And they just, some guy put a, a, a $10,000 into a GoFundMe for him. Have All you right. seen this? Yeah. So, two boys from Brooklyn and the, and, and the Broads are going to do no, a GoFundMe. Go no, we no, took a vote. Nobody likes the names. No, you guys took a vote. Every I, wait, hold it. I have 50% of the vote. Yeah, but 60% <laughs> of the people said no. That's 110. And Do people wrote in. Everybody got crazy over this stupid thing. No, so we'll you have more like 30% of the vote. You see, but then, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting the bid out. <laughs> so we're going to create our own GoFund yeah. because we have bills too, right? Yeah. Right. Lisa, you got bills? Yeah, you got bills? You got bills over And there? Cayenne West has a lot of bills, but he also has a lot of money. Last He's I heard, he was up to $3,000. Yeah. He's yeah. very money. But there's a guy who's going to place, he's going to match the first 10000 that so, Kanye gets? Yeah, so he's he got ten thousand seventy one dollars as of yesterday. Oh, right? I heard three. This is crazy. Right, but the guy when it hits ten, he's gonna have twenty because of my but we should have our own. We should. Who in their right mind will put money into a a, a situation for this guy. Are you okay. serious? So everybody, he owes 53 everybody million? out there that's listening to a show. Okay. We are starting the Freddie S. And no, 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 no. Two boys from Brooklyn. We're, we're and the boys. Two boys Freddy from S. Brooklyn because we we want to be able to eat a lot more. We want to pay our mortgage bills, and we come here to, to exactly. make your life worthwhile. So I got a text from a caller who was oh, trying to done, call right? in. Listen, the caller caller. Oh, she I was trying to call in, but I'm I guess done. she was told that we were we were kind of out of time. But So she texted me, because she's a friend of mine, and she had heard the show yesterday, and she said her office, and she works, I don't know, for whatever company she works for, they do a five-day-of-the-week bit, and one is Monday is Tipsy Day, Tuesday is Hump Day, uh, Wednesday is Hump Wednesday Day. Is Hump Day. Day. Well, I don't so know. So far, she get said, a new friend. No, she doesn't know what Monday is. Talk to your friend. She talk said, fast she get a new Tuesday, friend. Tuesday is Tipsy Day. Wednesday is Hump Day. Thursday is Thirsty Day. And Friday is I Don't Give a Sh Day. That's what their office does. Ooh, think of so day. it's interesting to hear people have. Day. Have <laughs> I, have a, I have a camel coming in Wednesday. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys took that out of content. You know, Les, you were in so much trouble. I could say Hump. Happy, happy hump day. Did you see the, the camel? Not the camel. What camel? It's the camel that I brought in. What the camel? Happy hump day. Oh. Hump day is Can, can you help me here, Connecticut? 
Hump day is always it's on Wednesday. It's the commercial where the camel says, Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> what day is it? She sounds just like it. We're going to put a camel face on you, honey. Do that again, Connecticut. Mike, 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 Mike. You know what so, day it is. So here's what we're going to do. For all that you, uh, Freddie, we have to put a website up. The two boys from Brooklyn. Yes, we're money. working on it. New, need money to support our show. No, that's a GoFund page. GoFund page. Go, fund so go page. fund us. Yeah. Yes. And we'll give Nothing. 90% we of won't. that money to charity. And what are you going to do with the other 10%? You and me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's <laughs> other people on? in the room. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Two boys from Brooklyn, you and me. <laughs> and, Freddie, if somebody wants to legitimately sponsor us, how do they get in touch with you? You can call 866-224-5422. You can go to amp2.tv, the website. You can call Les. What's your number, Les? 303-9563. That's 954-303-9563. And you can ask to come on. You can come do, on. You know, we're offering free commercial. Yeah. Come on here. Put your commercial on the air. We're running for three weeks. Yeah. If you come into studio and do it. I keep that promise. Yeah. We'll keep can that I add promise. my two cents? Yes. I Three look, cents. I, will, I look forward to working with you guys every day. Oh, thank, thank you, you so that. much. We appreciate and that. And Connecticut, oh, didn't you say you do quite a few of these shows, and this is the one you're having one of oh, your yeah. best times? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Will, will you, you work on Sundays with me on my oh, show? Oh, she's the best. You want <laughs> I need her. to get the, the money. All right, Freddie, get her the money. I need her I, we'll, on we'll, Sunday. We'll pay you on Sunday. Listen, Connecticut, from now on, you are the official Happy Hump Day spokesperson. I am? Yes. <laughs> oh, what was that? Do it again? Oh, it's Mike, 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 Mike. You know what day it is. Love that. <laughs> She's I can can you record the... that and then we can just have that play every once sure, in a while? Sure, sure. I, like, I like the one when the camel walks through the office. You see that one? That's the one. The office and go, Mike, 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 Mike. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got a minute left. Everybody yes. say whatever you got to say because we won't see you till Monday. Oh, we're uh, we're going to put Liz last. No, go no, ahead. no, no. Let, let's go first. Liz, you got 10 seconds. Oh, 10 seconds. Say oh something. Five seconds. Come on. Uh, drink Sky H2O water straight from the air, not the ground. It's much healthier for you. And thanks Daisy. to the boys from Brooklyn. Daisy. Daisy. Have a nice weekend. Be safe out there. This is your traffic and weather girl. Yes, and, of course... Follow me also in social media with the two boys uh, from Brooklyn and the dames. And that's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. that's it. Uh, Lisa. <laughs> if you want to improve your sex life, work out more. <laughs> I'm spiritual, be happy. You're and, right. And text Bye. us your what's trending stories. I just want to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the two boys from Brooklyn. Uh, we hope you're having a good time because we're, we're definitely having this a good time. Okay, we got to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week. M2.TV, check out the show. Write to us. Say hello to everybody. Sayonara. See ya. Well, that's about it for today's lunch break with two boys from Brooklyn. You're invited to join the break every day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. So, if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today, there's more coming next time. Bring your lunch and the boys from Brooklyn will bring the smiles. And it's all live. See you next time. Now, go and enjoy the rest of your day. WBCT West Palm Beach and iHeartRadio State.